Hello there. This is your friend Tim, and I'm telling you all about the wonderful Christmas adventure I had with Jump Jump of Holiday House at the Palace of the Ice Queen. Things certainly were getting more exciting every minute. There was no telling what that hard-hearted ice cream would do next to try to stop us from reaching her palace, where Santa's reindeer had been imprisoned. We were all very glad to finally see the blue towers of the ice cream's palace just a little way beyond the hill where we were standing. There was Mary Holiday, Sleepy Slim the Lion, Hachi Pogby the Clown, the Poet, and Jump Jump, he's the little elf only three inches tall, and myself. Now, in just a minute, I'll tell you what happened as we started to walk toward the palace. is really in sight at last. Oh, yes, Tim. There it is. Only about half a mile away now. Oh, oh, yes. And I'm glad to see it, too. I can tell you, all the adventures we've been through trying to get this far has turned my hair to a sort of a sky pink. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Jump Jump, can you see the palace? I can't see that, Eric, if I rode on your shoulder. I'll put you on Tim's shoulder, Jump Jump. Oh, now I can see fine. But promise me you won't jump off. I won't jump off, Mary Holiday. I'll say not. Look, look, I can see the palace right now. That's right. While we've been talking, we've come much closer to the palace. Oh, isn't it a beautiful castle? Oh, look at those high walls and all of those towers and spires. The whole place glitters. It looks like glass. That's because it's made of ice. That's what makes the palace glisten like that. Imagine living in a house made of ice. Even if it is a beautiful palace. As a famous man once said. Palace, Sleepy Slim? See it, Poet? Oh, I don't like it either, Sleepy Slim. I don't think the Sleepy Slim or the Poet care very much about the Ice Queen's Palace, Mary Holiday. (laughs) Poor Sleepy Slim hasn't had a good nap all day, Tim. He's probably half asleep. And the Poet is daydreaming a rhyme, as usual, I expect. Well, I hope they stay that way from the Cirque of the Blue Fire, then. They must stay away from it. We don't want any of us being changed into a statue, do we? I should say not, Archie Posley. Speaking of the statues, I think I can see them now, just beyond something that looks like sort of a pale blue fog. Yes, so you can, Tim. I can see them too now. Oh, yes. Those must be the poor people who've tried to get into the Ice Queen's palace. And that blue fog, as you call it, is the circle of blue fire. So let's take great care, all of us. Oh, I'm disappointed. I thought the blue fire would be pretty. Maybe like fireworks on the 4th of July, or sparkly and flaming up and... Uh, no, no, Archie Pogley. Don't forget, this is a cold fire that freezes instead of burning. As we come closer to the palace, I can see doorways and balconies. 
Isn't that what you call those little ledges sticking up from that big round tower up there, Mary Holiday? Yes, that's right, Jim. They are balconies. My, that's a great big window in that round tower. Oh, I wonder... Yes, what, Mary Holiday? Well, Jump Jump, we know that the Ice Queen has a great tower room where her magic mirror sits. By looking in her magic mirror... She can see what's happening everywhere. Yes, That's so... how she's watching us. Yes, yes, so she does. Santa told us about that. Do you think it might be the room behind the big window up there, Mary Holiday? Very likely, Archie Parkley. Maybe, maybe the ice cream is watching us right now. Oh, she won't get you, Jump Jump. Hey, don't pull my ear like that. Uh, Jump Jump, uh, he isn't scared, Tim. He's angry at the ice cream. Oh... Here are some statues that are standing on this side of the circle of blue fire. They must have been enchanted by the Ice Queen, too. Just look at that, will you? Why, they look alive, Mary Holiday. Their clothing and faces and hair have simply been frozen instantly, just as they were taking a step forward toward the palace. It makes me cold just to look at them. Poor, poor people. Here's a nice man. And here's another. You better not touch them, Mary Holiday. They might be put there just to trap us. Oh, take care, Poet. Poet, you're walking oh, right into one of the ice poet, statues. Poet, look out there. Look where you're going. Oh, my, he, he's going to bump it. Well, what a funny sound. I'm glad to see the Poet isn't turned into an ice statue. Are you all right, Poet? June, June, spoon, ice, nice spice, rice, nice. Oh, he's all right, Tim. The statues can't harm us, I guess. Poor statues. That funny, strange, bonging sound was the ring made when the poet bumped the statue. It was? How funny. Let me tap this statue's arm. Let me do it now. I'll jump on his shoulder. Oh, no, no, not on the ice statue's shoulder, Jump Jump. It's too late, Mary Holiday. He's already jumped onto it. Oh, jump, jump. I'm going to lift you off the ice statue and put you in my pocket. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are going into my pocket. Like that. See, no more jumping for you today. Do do, do you see what I see, Mary Holiday? Do you see what I see? Where? Archie Parkley? Right up there. Where? Right up there. (gasps) I see her now, up on the balcony, Mary Holiday. Up on the balcony by that great big window we saw a while ago. Oh, yes, Tim. Yes, I see her now. It must be the ice queen herself. Look. Look at her long, silvery hair. It glitters like icicles. Look at her face. It's white as snow. I can see that even from down here. But she's moving now. Oh, she's pointing her finger right no. at us. No. Boy, can I take your arm? Slippy Slim, can I get close to you, please? I certainly hope the Christmas fairy is watching over us now. She is, Tim. Don't worry. Yes, Ice Queen. We are here at your palace gate. We're here for Santa's reindeer and to save Christmas. (laughs) And there you may stay. It will give me much pleasure to see you there, beyond the circle of blue fire, knowing you cannot pass through it to rescue those foolish reindeer. Is that so? Well, Blitzen and Comet, they're not foolish, and... Well, well, we'll we'll find a way through your old blue fire. We will. That's uh, telling her, Archie Pogley. Stupid clown. Only one thing will ever cause me to lift 
the circle of blue fire. And what is that, oh Ice Queen? When I see you all frozen into statues of ice, standing helpless before my palace gates, then I will lift the blue fire. <laughs> Or even breathe. <laughs> Did you hear that? She's just going to sit up there and watch us freeze. She is heartless and cruel, Mary Holiday. Ooh, look, look, she's disappeared. I guess she's gone back into her palace to watch us in the magic mirror again. Who, oh, as a famous man once said, whatever shall we do? There just isn't any way that I can think of to get through that circle of blue fire. Why can't the Christmas... Spirit, make a path through the fire for us, Mary Holiday. Because, Tim, it's only through us that the warm, kind spirit of Christmas can melt the selfishness of the Ice Queen. That's why we are here. Otherwise, the Christmas fairy would have simply rescued Santa's reindeer long ago. We must find a way ourselves. You see, the power of hate and selfishness is strong, and people themselves have to fight it with love and generosity. Only then can there be happiness and peace on earth and goodwill to men. I think I men. understand, Mary Holiday. If we try, Tim, we can find a way. <laughs> jump, jump. That's a wonderful idea. And the ice queen gave it to you herself, did she? <laughs> oh, my, please tell us what Jump Jump's idea is, Mary Holiday. I'm on pins and needles to know. All right. It's quite simple, but it might work. Do you remember the dolls that Santa Claus made for us? The dolls that look exactly like us? Yes, yes, you yes. You mean that dolls of Achi Pogby, the lion, Sleepy Slim, and yourself, Mary Holiday? Yes, Tim. And, of course, those of Jump Jump himself. Yes, we remember them. We remember them, yes. Well, well Jump Jump's idea is that we send to Santa Claus for the dolls and put them out here to double for ourselves. You know, they're kind of stiff and apparently lifeless. And when the Ice Queen sees them, she'll think that we have been frozen. And then she might lift the blue fire and we can get into the palace. And rescue Santa's reindeer? And save Christmas. Yes. Oh, now I wonder how we can get, let Santa Claus know that we need the dolls. That's a good idea, Jump that's, Jump. That's she can take the message, Mary Holiday, can't she? Yes, it is a good idea. I'm sure she can. We'll ask her to come to us. She can't be far away, I know. Oh, I hope it works. Sure enough, the Christmas fairy did come when we called to her and told Mary Holiday that she would take our message to Santa at once. Now be sure and meet me here tomorrow, and I'll tell you if Chump Chump's plan worked. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.